<laughs> Yo, shit just ever happen in your life or shit just ever happen and you're just like, you're so perplexed that you just gotta laugh? Like, <laughs> that's basically what's happening in this video. Roll it. Welcome back to the family, everybody, fam. Sorry, my, hold on, let me start over. Welcome back to the family, everybody. <laughs> Why do I keep on saying family? All right, for real, for real. Welcome back to the... Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Ariano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider becoming part of our little family and clicking subscribe, bottom right-hand corner, if you like what you see in the video. And the shit that I'm laughing at is exactly what you see, the, what you clicked on. You read the title right. We're going all the way back, all the way back to Moments album. This request is the request for January for Rini666. Once again, she's the one that requested the last Eminem song, River. And I really appreciated that because I had never seen the music video and the music video just tied the whole song together, brought it to whole new life. Now in the Discord, I had asked her like, what do you want your song for January and February to be? And to be honest, I was not expecting anything from the Moments album. People have told me in the Discord, like how cringe it is, like how it's it's extremely rough. It sounds like a rough draft of who Nate and NF is today. So the fact that she requested this, she used her January Patreon request as a sacrificial lamb for our enjoyment. So Rini, I appreciate it. And today we got Escape off of Moments album. I have not heard this song, but let's just get on into it, guys. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the Third Ernest, just like the channel, no spaces. Links down in the description below. Just like I always say, NF, Escape, Moments album. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into right now. Let's get it. I'm kind of scared to hit the play button, to be honest, because I don't know what to expect. Yeah, I wish yeah, I could leave it all behind me. Go to my own world when no one can find me. That's just the way I skate, yeah. That's just the way I skate. Yeah, I wish yeah, I could take parts of my past. Hold on to the good and throw the rest in the trash. That's just the way I skate, yeah. Have you ever been so broke and Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. Holy auto-tune, bro. Like, <laughs> that is a serious use of auto-tune. It sounds like the search. That's what's funny about it. It sounds like you have like the strings instrumentals. You have like the hard string background, which is very orchestral, which is very the search album, but it's like way diluted. It's like super crude and the heavy handed auto-tune like, God. That's like T-Pain level of auto-tune use, but T-Pain used it in a way that was very, it was very pleasing to the ear. This use of auto-tune so much, it's like Nate didn't know that he had a singing voice just yet, or his producer didn't know how to make his singing voice pop and stand out the way as obviously his producer does now. But, yo, this is gonna be a little cringe. <laughs> Let's keep going. Pass. Hold on to the good and throw the rest in the trash. That's just the way I skate, yeah. That's just the way I Have skate. you ever been so broke and frozen and so cold? Emotions are so blown, hoping you won't go back to that war zone. And place hold on, hold on, hold on. My mind is not like... My mind's not ready for this level of like lack of production. Obviously he said in the past that Eminem was one of his like biggest influences. Obviously he's from Michigan, just like Eminem's from Michigan. He grew up right around outside of Detroit. Eminem grew up eight mile Detroit. The multi-layering of the voice, that's a total Eminem thing to do. Eminem puts his voice on top of his voice on top of his voice in a lot of his tracks, especially like, especially around this time, I'm assuming nine years ago, this is like 2010, 2011. He did it a lot during this time. So it's funny that you can hear that influence, but it's just like, like, it wasn't listenable. My mind, my brain wasn't ready for it. I couldn't even listen to the lyrics. We're gonna have to rewind. That's just the way I have you ever been so broke and frozen and so cold? Emotions are so blown. Hoping you won't go back to that war zone, a place that you don't know. It's hard to go the right way when you're on the wrong road. Feel like you're so low. You about to explode and you do anything to get back, but you let go. Stuck in upset mode because you can't seem to figure this out. Living without a reason to live. Thinking about what you should have done. Think Yo, <laughs> you gotta remember, this is like, I gotta remember, cause I'm not laughing at him. If anything, I'm laughing at the growth between who he is now and this. And that's one of the things that I always say on all the Nate videos that I do. It's like every single album, every single song, if I do it in progressive order, you can hear the growth every single time. Like he never goes backwards. It sounds like it's his first album. It sounds like the dude who made the search now, the refined, polished rapper, the refined, polished sound, like it sounds like that, but at like level like way the f 
down here. But it's dope that you can hear like the style of sound kind of trying to peek through. He didn't know who he was yet, but you can hear the anger. You can hear the angst. You can hear like some of the lyrics pop out. That living without a reason to live line, that's dope because that's who he is. That's the type of music he puts out, like his constant internal question about his reason to be. But stuck in upset mode, that's like, that's what it sounds like when a rapper is trying to bend his sentence to make it fit the rhyme scheme. No one in their right mind, no one who talks normally, a normal sentence, you would never say upset mode. That sounds like you're trying to fit the rhyme scheme. And because it sounds like you're trying to fit the rhyme scheme, the line just doesn't land at all. It just sounds corny. And then like just the very basic punchlines that he has right now, it's hard to go the right way when you're on the wrong road, right, wrong. Like it's very basic writing. It's very basic hip hop fundamental skills. But it was dope when he says he didn't want to go back to that war zone because technically in his mind, like the place that he came from causes as much PTSD as war did. Obviously he dealt with a lot of shit when he was a kid. So to call it a war zone is dope because that is like, that's something that someone who goes through a difficult childhood can relate to. Let's keep going. Living without a reason to live, thinking about what you should have done, things that you could have changed, and maybe if you had, then things wouldn't be this way, and you wouldn't feel this pain. But that's too easy now, isn't it? Wishing that you could go back and things would be different. Got a time machine up in your mind, wishing you could push a button in your life for the wine. But that's not how it happens. You can hope and imagine instead of looking forward, a lot of us looking backwards. God, he was doing so good. But then the last line, like, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the flow. The flow was so good. The multi-syllable rhyme scheme, what he was saying, the time machine, and sometimes you just wish you could go backwards. <sighs> he just ended it on such like a low note. That's one of the things that he's definitely gotten better at as a writer. And you can hear it like through each album. There's not a single song on the search after hearing the whole album multiple times where I would say like, oh, that rhyme didn't really fit there. Listen to it one more time because the rhyme doesn't fit. Push a button in your life for the wine But that's not how it happens You can hope and imagine Instead of looking forward A lot of us looking backwards Singing I wish See the way that he says backwards Like it doesn't fit The enunciation was just too much It didn't fit the same enunciation From the beginning part but for real, the time machine up in your mind and you could push a button and rewind and you wish that things could be different, like that's all fire. Like it's not dope lyricism because right here, he's clearly not a lyricist, but it's dope concept. He had like the framework, but the mansion wasn't even built yet. It was just the frame. We didn't even have no drywall. No one was taping, floating the drywall. No, no paint, no nothing. We didn't have the Mexicans coming in doing the electrical. The foundation is being poured right now. You know, it's like, it's not bad. It's just not good. <laughs> Instead of looking forward, a lot of us looking backwards Singing, I wish Now I could leave it all behind me Go to my own world where no one can find me This is just the way I skate, yeah This is just the way I skate, and I wish Yo, the production is just like all over the place. The beat in the middle of the chorus and the beat in the middle of the verse is actually like dope. Like I like the beat, but then we have like an electric like rock guitar out of nowhere. And then he says, I wish like all deep, but then all of a sudden he's singing again. Like the production of the song just doesn't sound well produced. That's all it is. That and there's no melody whatsoever. He's not really singing. He's more like talking singing. Versus now, like in his choruses, he's actually singing. He has very clear influence of Eminem right here, but his voice just doesn't work in the same way Eminem's voice does. And not only that, he doesn't have Dr. Dre behind the boards. Let's keep going. Some things will be different See you screaming in your room and feel like nobody's listening You mad see you scream loud of things that you're not proud See this right here is fire He says it feels like you're so lost and your hope is gone You know you need to let go of some things but you hold on The rhyme scheme is, is good right there Like the sound of it obviously sounds very like He doesn't know what he wants his sound to sound like He doesn't know who he is as an artist yet But the lyrics are there You mad see you scream loud of things that you're not proud of Wishing you knew a way to escape Me as I put this pen to this page. I wish. 
that was much better than the first verse. Obviously, like I said, the production is not great. Like the production actually doesn't even fit the beat. He could have just went with just the way his voice sounds today. And these lyrics are not like aggressive lyrics where he needs to be sounding like he's screaming. Like it's the difference between like, I'm trying to think of two Eminem songs since this was his obviously a very clear cut drawing inspiration from him. Okay, so he could have went with Eminem's production in Beautiful right? It's just him talking into the mic. It's just one vocal track. It's not like a layered multi-stack vocal track. He tried to make this sound like the way I am because the way I am is much more aggressive in tone and Eminem's voice is multi-stacked. What I get from this is like he wasn't confident in his voice. He wasn't confident in his vocals. I said it on one of the other tracks where you could be a dope ass writer, but if your vocals aren't there, like if your vocals don't sound good, like if nobody likes the tonality of your voice, you're not gonna go far because the voice is really all you have. So it feels like he wasn't confident in the way his voice sounded, so he tried to mask it with the multi-layering, and it just doesn't fit this track for me. He still kind of ended it, like it ended kind of weird, this verse too. At this moment, Ha, pun, not intended, but it's there, bar. At this moment, he didn't know how to transition himself from verse to chorus. And that's what it sounds like. It sounds like they're just colliding. They're not like, it's not a seamless blend. But let's keep going and listen to this transition. Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't blend well. Me to escape, time to relate. Follow me as I put this pen to this page. I wish that I could leave it all behind me. Go to my own world where no one can find me. This is just the way I skate, yeah. Like that, this is just the way I escape. Like that sounds like who he became. This I wish I could leave it all behind me. It's like two different rappers in the same chorus and that's what makes it not fit. But at this point in your like passion project and what you want to hopefully become your career, you got to try everything and whatever doesn't stick is not meant to be. And I'm glad that that didn't stick because that doesn't sound good at all. This is just the way I escape. I'm so sick of feeling like I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Yeah. And I'm so sick of feeling like I don't have a clue where I'm going. Like I don't have a clue where I'm going. Yeah. See, all of us need a place where we can go. Okay, so. And it really, it's not even him. It's, I mean, unless he produced it, then it definitely is him. But it's not even like him on the on the song itself. Like he put a, that was a bridge right there. But the beat didn't turn into a bridge beat. Normally when you have a bridge in a song, the beat switches up a little bit. It might change key. It changes tempo. His lyrics, his vocals, he put a little melody in there to bridge into the last part of the song, but the beat didn't switch. So it sounds, it just sounds, it sounds detached from each other. See, all of us need a place where we can go escape. Get away from the pain, be ourselves and just run away. But where are we running to? This rain you've been running through is starting to get harder and it's starting to bother you. Some of us get depressed. Some of us go to music. Some of us get stressed. Others just push through it. So I'm going to push through this now and get lost. To the gun and throw the rest in the trash This is just the way I skate, yeah This is just the way I skate, yeah Hold on, I gotta formulate my thoughts. Give me a second. Let's take these off. All right, so first off, that electric guitar, get that shit out of the track. That did not belong in this track whatsoever. It, does, it sounds so out of place. But to be honest, it's not like terrible. I was expecting it to be like God awful. It, it's definitely cringe, I will say that. It's only cringe because we know who he is right now. But like I said, it's not his lyrics. You can hear the foundation of who he was to become and who he became. Like you can hear that. And you can hear the beginning portions, like just the little buds coming out of the ground of the flower that would become the sound that he has. But overall, it's not bad. 
The only thing that's bad about it is the production choices or the lack thereof. Like a good producer would know that if we're gonna put a bridge, we gotta make the beat sound different. It can't sound like it's been sounding for the last three minutes. But Sand's electric guitar, that instrumental is pretty good, especially for someone who doesn't have like the backing of a record label to go out and get the best producers ever. But overall, what do I think of the track? Is it good? Eh? Are the lyrics decent? Yeah. Is the production good? Nah. But yo, if I do more of this album, I'm sure there's gonna be worse tracks than this. And I'm sure that there's gonna be better tracks than this. That's just the name of the game whenever you're an upcoming artist, you know? Like, not everything's gonna be fire, and not everything's gonna be trash. But that's it for this video today, guys. I appreciate you watching this. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably like a diehard NF fan, because who the hell is gonna watch this, you know? So if you're watching this and you like what you see, please consider liking and leaving a comment down in the description to help the algorithm catch it and send it out there to the world. But if you like what you saw enough in this more formal version of like a reaction, it's more like a commentary, if anything. If you like that, this is the way we do it around here on this channel. So please consider becoming part of our little family by clicking the subscribe button because we'd love to have you. Shout out to Rini666 one more time, the Discord mod who requested this song as her January Patreon request. I would have never listened to this track if it wasn't for the request. So I appreciate that, Rini, and I appreciate you being one of the two mods. Go in the Discord, everybody, if you want to chat it up with me, because I'm pretty active in there. Almost on a daily basis, I'm in there. So if you want to talk to me and talk to other like-minded people, Discord down below. But that's really it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.